Happy Passover Israel and welcome to the first day of Unleavened Bread. This day is set apart to Yahweh. The Passover, the Unleavened Bread, should be a set apart to Yahweh. This day is set apart to Yahweh. The Passover, the Unleavened Bread. Why celebrate the Passover? What is the meaning of Passover? Hey, the children of Israel, no matter where you are, Passover is a day supposed to be set apart to Yahweh. You are the children of Israel, you must know what is the meaning of Passover. What is the meaning of unleavened bread? Why you must stay seven days without eating bread with leaven? Everything as a bread. I buy a way must not appear before me empty ended. Rejoice, O Zion. Rejoice, O Yahweh Shahim. The children of Israel, no matter where you are on the four corner of the earth, it is a time now to acknowledge Yahweh. Is acknowledged what is the meaning of Passover. Why the children of Israel, not the Jewish people, must be seated with the Passover according to the appointed time of Yahweh. This day is set apart to Yahweh. Israel, not black people, Israelite, but Israel, no matter where you are tonight. Let's first rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Yahweh. It's not about TMH. It's not about those who say they know. But in the action, they deny Yahweh. Messiah Shua said 2,000 years ago, you must know them, you must recognize them by their actions. Can a bad tree be a good fruit? No. Come on, the children of Israel, no matter where you are. This day is set apart to Yahweh. The Passover must be set apart to Yahweh. The unleavened bread must be set apart. Come out of her, my people, if you don't want to be part of her and her sin and to share in her peace. It is a warning. It is a command. And it is a cry to come out of her. This is Yahweh music. This is Yahweh Yahushua Ministries. Come out of her, my people, said Yahweh. This is about Yahweh. When you bring the children out of the land of Egypt, over 3,500 years ago, now coming the children of Israel is a must to come out of her. Are you are the true children of Israel, it is a warning, it is a command. The Torah is Yahshua Amashiach. 
Yahshua to the children of Israel, the nation of Israel. Israel's salvation. There is only one way to receive salvation. It's through the blood of Yahshua Amashiach. The Passover. Proclaim Yahshua, Israel. If you reject Yahshua, you reject salvation, my friend. There is no more. Bene Israel, not Bene Black Hebrew Israelites. Bene Israel, the son, the children of Israel. We are donation. We are is. We are Israel. Not Christianity, not Muslim. Not Mama, not Christianity. Say hallelujah to Yahweh. <laughs> not TMH, not God. This is Yahweh salvation, Yahshua Amashiach. Yahoshi, Yahshua. Is the only way for salvation. If you do not acknowledge Yahshua is the only Passover lamb, the lamb of Yahweh who take away the sin of those who believe in him, my friends, you better be get back to school. Come out of her, my people. It is easy to bring snake to school, but it's not an easy way to put a snake sit down. Talk is cheap, but actions speak louder than words. Yes, come on. Are you are the well children of Yahweh people? Are you are the fake one? Those who are calling and chosen by Yahweh must follow Yahweh part the part. They must follow up by Yahweh set apart day. Parts of eleven boy. Seven days eighteen without years. What is the meaning seven days? Without eating anything who has a misspelling. Not hallelujah, the word is a alleluia way, allel, allel, crazy away. You don't say allel TMH, allel Adonai or allel Hashem, or allel Buddha or Allah, alleluia, yes, crazy away. Yahshua salvation is Yahshua Teno. The Holy One, King of Israel, Yahshua, Melech of Israel. Yahshua is not Melech of Yahudim. Yahshua is the Melech of Israel. The King of Israel is not about the King of Jewish. There is no J in Hebrew. It is impossible for Yahshua to be only the one King of one tribe. It is the one and come out of my people. Come on, the children of Israel, no matter where you are, this is Yahweh's set apart day. Why celebrate Passover? Why we have to keep the unleavened boy for seven days? Why? Let's walk and walk just like Yahshua Amaziah. He was walk on the Passover to be delivered as the sacrifice for my sin. Let's walk. Let's talk the talk. Uh, can you walk just like Yahshua walk? Can you talk just like Yahshua? Can you live just like that? I don't think so. Can you walk just like Yahshua walk? Are you observed and obey the Passover the way it should be? The whole is described, the date. And follow all the instructions. 
Why celebrate Passover? And what is the date supposed to be celebrated Passover? By following the moon? Or by following the Jewish calendar? Which day is supposed to be Passover of Yahweh? Baruchashim Yahweh. Blessed be the name of Yahweh. Oh yes, thank you, Abba Yahweh. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hababeshem Yahshua Hamashiach. Shema Israel. Let's walk the walk. And let's talk the talk. If you don't walk the walk and talk the talk, you might be found on your feet inside your mouth, my friend. You must walk the walk and talk the talk. Are you going to walk just like Yahshua walked when he was on the face of the earth? Are you going to live just like Yahshua? Are you want to be an example? How many of you are going to follow the full step of Yahshua Amasya? Are you going to walk just like Yahshua walked when he was living on the face of the earth? How many of you who want to follow the footsteps of Yahshua, Amasiak, as the Savior, as the Lamb of Yahweh, who take away the sin of many? The Torah, Yahshua, all Eden, all Israel. If you are rejected, Yahshua, you reject his salvation. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Baruch Abba Yahweh. Baruch Ata Yahweh. Bless the name of Yahweh. Praise the name of Yahweh. Let's walk. Are you there with me? Let's walk. Israel, are you are of the true the children of Israel or you are one of the fake ones? Come on, the children of Israel, no matter where you are. I am Messenger Daniel. <laughs> it is in the name of Yahweh. Welcome back, Yahushua Ministries. Say Shalom Alehem. This been today. If any one of you like to have this music and to give you our praise, just send your address. It's going to be yours. Free. A charge. It's a gift of Yahweh for you if you love this music. If you like to hear this music the time you want, when you want it, just send an address that music would be yours. It's Yahweh music. It's Yahweh Yahshua Ministries. It could be yours. Just send an address and it will be yours. It's Yahweh mercy. It's Yahweh blessed to you and to your house and to your family. My beloved, I say, Happy Pesach to all of you, and happy unleavened bread to all of you. Tonight, we are here is because there is the obligations as the children of Israel. Because a lot of people perhaps celebrate the Passover, they don't even know the meaning of celebration of Passover. They do not know the story of the Passover. Why the Passover is so important for Abaya we just like the Sabbath day? Do Abaya we give the instructions? A specific date how to do it and when to do just like the Sabbath day? Why the children of Israel always want to go around the corner and to do whatever they please instead of to listen to the voice of Yahweh, the Almighty Creator? For almost 6,000 years, the children of Israel have refused to listen to the voice and to the comment of Yahweh. 
Shalom to all of you. May Abba Yahweh peace be with all of you. May Abba Yahweh peace. Happy Pesach to all of you. And welcome to the first day of Unleavened Bread. May Abba Yahweh be with all of you. What is Pesach? What is Passover? The Passover I was made for the Jewish people or for the Israelites. What make the Passover a major holidays or festivals? And only it is important for you to know can scripture identify the appointed time from Yahweh mouth itself or from the Jewish calendar or from the new moon. The Almighty Creator has given a specific information, a specific date to celebrate and to honor his Passover. If your family asking you today what is the meaning of Passover? Why 3,500 years ago, Abaya recommended the children of Israel to take a lamb without blemish and to keep it until the 14th day of the same month, the month of Abib, and to kill the lamb. And the 14th day of Abib, at the sun down. And put the blood in your doorposts. When I see the blood, I will pass over it. What is the blood of the Lamb and the lentil of the house of Israel represented to the children of Israel? Just a fun. The 14 days of Abib. As to keep and remembrance of Abba Yahweh passing over the house of Israel. If you do not observe and obey the Passover according to the appointed time, you are wasting of your time. From Genesis to Revelations, there is no scripture who validate you must follow the new moon in order to observe Yahweh Passover. There is nowhere on the scripture described that by Yahweh command the children of Israel to follow the new moon in order to observe his Passover. Nowhere on the scripture is found Abba Yahweh say you must use in the Jewish calendar, the Gregorian calendar, the lunar calendar, the solar calendar, the equinox calendar, and the Hebrew calendar. First of all, there was no calendar because there is no printing machine at the time for the any calendar. There is no watch. There is no clock. My friends, on the book of Exodus 12, chapter verse 1, over 3,500 years ago, Abba Yahweh speaking to Aaron and Moses saying, This month, which month, Abib, April, must be to you the beginning of months. It must be the first month of the year to you. So January is not the first month of the year. For many pastors and ministers and spiritual leaders, rabbis and elders knowing the truth, but I refuse to teach the mass as we come tomorrow to our understanding. Did our buyer we give Moshe a specific date to celebrate his 
pass over. Do Abba Yahweh give to his servant Moshe a specific information how, when, and how to do it? When is the Passover time? Why Abba Yahweh say this month it was not January? Everybody know Constantine is the one who changed Jan April as the first month to the month of January and 325 AD and Council Nasia. Abba Yahweh said to Moshe this month this month, Abib, the month of Abib, Abib and April, they just changed from Ibu to Igris, but it's the same thing. It's the first month of the year to you. It speak you to all the children of Israel, not some of the children of Israel. It speak to all to the children of Israel, not to the black Ibu Israelites. But to the children of Israel, B'nai Israel. Nowhere on the scripture found black Hebrew Israelites. Can you see it? Please show it to me where you see black Hebrew Israelites. Show me one verse. Speak to you, speak you to all the children of Israel, saying, in the tenth day of this month, Abib. They shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb, a lamb for an house. It speak you into all the children of Israel. Do you see it speak to all the black Hebrew Israelites? No. Do you see anywhere on the scripture where it's refer to speak to all Christ for Israel? No. Deception upon deception. Lies upon lies. If anyone do not speak according to the word of Yahweh, it's because the light is not in him. He speak you into all the children of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of the month of Abib, the children of Israel should take to them every man a lamb. What is the symbolic of the lamb? According to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. The lamb must be without blemish. The lamb must be without blemish. That's instructions. So those who kill the lamb, where is the temple? Those who eat the pass of a lamb, where is the high priest? Are we still living under the law of Moses? If we are still living under the law of Moses, there should be Hallelujah, yes, Yahshua is lamb. Because Yahshua is the only high priest. Yahshua is the lamb who sacrificed for my sin over 2,000 years ago. That's why the lamb has to be blemished. It was a symbolic Yahshua to come as a Passover lamb. But today, you see so many blind leaders who lead the other blinds. Everybody want to be a teacher. Everybody want to call a teacher, not a student no more. The lamb must be without blemish, a male of the first year. That's instructions. Are you are uh, sacrificed the lamb? Without blemish, a lamb? For the first year, are you doing that instructions? And you must keep it until the 14th day. Hello, somebody please. Until the 14th day 
of the same month of Abib at the World Assembly of the Congregation of Israel must kill it at the evening. Mm. What is the meaning? And the children of Israel must be kept the lamb until the 14th day. Why are we say the 14th day? It is in the scripture. The book of Shemot, 12 chapter 6. Can anybody show me in the scripture where he says you have to follow the new moon? First Thessalonians 5, 21, 3, to prove all things. Can anybody prove about your new moon? Do Abbe always say to follow the new moon or Abbe always say in the 14th day, take the lamb in the 10th and keep it until the 14th day and kill it as it treat lies, as it sundown, as it pass over lamb. And the mistake of the blood and struck it on the two side posts and on the upper doors posts on the house where they in they showed it. Why are by our way make sure he say when you kill the lamb you have to put the blood, the blood of Yeshua. The blood 2,000 years ago, and set up for me to go to Golgotha, he paid the price for me, not with gold and silver, but with his precious blood. The 14th day of Abib has a meaning for Abba Yahweh. The 14th day of Abib is a symbolic word for Abba Yahweh, and we're going to see the reason why. Abba Yahweh say to Moshe, and you must eat it with your clothes on, with your shoes on, your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you must eat it in haste. It is Yahweh Passover. It is. Yahweh pass over. It is Yahweh pass over. When? The 14th day of Abib. Why are Yahweh say this is my Passover? Do you say Jewish, Jewish Passover? And everywhere they're talking about Jewish Passover. But they're not talking about Yahweh. They're not talking about the children of Israel. Why the Jewish people? Deceptions. The lies. Two thousand years of religion deceptions. But Yahweh say he has appointed a time. A time. A time for everything. A time. Not one time, but a time. Exodus two chapter verse twelve. For I will pass over through the land of Egypt this night. Abib the 14, and I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Mizraim, both men and beasts, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am Yahweh. Understand that? For I will pass over. I, Yahweh, will pass over. But for Yahweh to be passed over, it must be according to the appointed time. If Abba Yahweh has to be passed over, you must be follow all the instructions and the judgment Abba Yahweh has prescribed to observe is passed over. If you don't do it according to what it is written, that means you celebrate your Passover not Yahweh pass over. And verse 13, and the blood must be to you. The blood, because the blood represents the blood of Yahshua. That was a symbolic thing to come. And the blood must be to you for a sign. A token means for a sign. That's like the Sabbath. 
should be a sign just like the blood also for must be a sign upon the house where you are and when i see the blood i will pass over you and the plagues must not be upon you to destroy you when i smite the land of misraim hallelujah the blood must be to you for a sign this is Yahushua, the lamb of yahweh who sacrificed himself two thousand years ago just like today if you don't have the blood of yahshua in your doorposts you are exposed to satan you are exposed for destructions you are exposed for the plagues to destroy you because Yahweh say, I will smite the land of Egypt. If you don't have the blood of Yahshua, if you don't have the seal of Yahshua, my friends, you are there for destructions. Because the blood of Yahshua is the seal. The blood of Yahshua is the seal. The blood of Yahshua is the seal who cover up when you are under the shield. When Abba will see the blood, is a sign, is a seal. I will pass over your house, and you will not gonna be destroyed when I smite the land of Egypt. Today, how oh, many of you who have the blood of Yahshua in your lentil doors? How many of you tonight who know the meaning of the Passover? How many today who understand the meanings of the 14th day of Abib? Why Abib always tell to Moses, today is the first month of the year for you. And the 10 days of the month of Abib, each of people has to take one lamb, the symbolic of Yahshua, and they're gonna keep it until the 14th day of the same month of Abib and kill it at the sundown. It is Yahweh Passover. Did Yahweh say you have to follow the new moon? Show me on the scripture. Did Yahweh say you get to follow the Jewish calendar? If all the scripture is inspired by Yahweh, I don't think the scripture is inspired to lie to people, to blind the mind of their own believers in order not to believe on the good news. If the scripture said to prove all things, can anybody prove you must to follow the new moon in order to observe Yahweh's Sabbath or Passover? Did Abba Yahweh has leave any room for any one of you? Pastors, ministers, elders, rabbis, no matter who you think you are. Give any room to pick and choose for him? Or Abba Yahweh speak to his servant Moshe? If you do not listen and follow the instruction of Yahweh, it's because you are not belong to Yahweh. Those who belong to Yahweh will always listen to Yahweh. That's why blood and flesh cannot please Yahweh. You must be born again in order to follow and to listen to be obedient to Abba Yahweh. I desire mercy, not sacrifices. If you live without the blood of Yahshua today, the renew covenant are by our speakings with the book and the book of prophet Jeremiah 31 31. Most people say they know him, but deny Yahweh by the deeds. And this day, this day, which day, this day, which day, the 14th day of Abib, is Yahweh Passover. 
How many of the elders? How many of those black Hebrew Israelites? How many of the rabbis who celebrate the Passover to Yahweh on the 14th day of Abib? How many of you? You are a bunch of hypocrites. Double minded, double faced, liars. Cheek. My friends, why are Barry say on the book of Exodus 12, chapter verse 14? And this day, which day? This day, the 14th day of Abib, is Yahweh Passover. Yahweh, not my Passover, not the Jewish Passover, but Yahweh Passover. I don't see on the scripture say Jewish Passover. Everywhere, oh, Jewish Passover. They left Yahweh on the bank, on the back. Yahweh doesn't exist. The Jewish. Time for change. It's not Obama change, but Yahweh change for sake. My friends, Yahweh Passover must be into you for a memorial. And you must obey the Passover. It is a feast to Yahweh, not a feast to the Jewish or to the Israelites or to me or to you, to Yahweh. It's a dedication. It's a way of honor what Yahweh has been done for us over 35 on the days ago when we was in slavery in the land of Israel. Throughout your generations, it is a day to remember. It is a memorial for you to keep a Passover feast to Yahweh throughout your generations, just like the Sabbath day. You must obey it. You must obey the Passover by an ordinance forever. That means the Passover must be just like the Sabbath day. If you obey the Sabbath day according to the instruction, you will bless. Just like the pass, pass over of Yahweh and the 14th day of Abib. You must obey the Passover. Just like I would say, you must obey my Sabbath as everlasting covenant. Le Olam Vayed. Everything Yahweh did, he did it forever. And you must observe the feast of Passover. For in this same day, the 14th day of Aviv, I have brought your armies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore, you must observe this day, Aviv the 14th, and your generation by an ordinance forever. But they will move Abib the 14th in order to honor their own traditions. 2,000 years ago, Messiah what did prophet as a prophesied about you hypocrites. Those people honor me with their lips. As they say, the heart is not the heart, is the mind. Are far away from me. And then, hello. And then do they worship me by rejecting the commandment of Yahweh in order to honor the own traditions by men made Jewish, men made tradition, lies, and deceptions. Abiyah says, Seven days you must eat unleavened bread. <laughs> Even the first day, you must put away leavens out of your house. For whoever eats leavens bread from the first day until the seven days, that soul must be cut off from Israel. You don't say from Jewish. You don't say from black Hebrew Israelites. But from Israel. Because we are the children of Israel as a nation. We are everywhere. 
First of all, the kingdom of Yahweh doesn't build according to the color of your skin. The kingdom of Yahweh has built according to your fate. Because the children of Israel, they are chocolate, they are brown, they are yellow, they are purple. They are everywhere, they are every color. And color doesn't exist. If you love, love has no color, just like water. You might be going to the ocean, you might be see the water look like blue, green, purple, red. But when you pick up the water, it's clear, it's a crystal clear. Love is a crystal clear. Love has no color. If you love one another, you cannot judge them according to the color of the skin. Seven days you must eat unleavened bread. Even to the first day, you must put away leaven out of your house. For whoever or anyone eating leavened bread from the first day and to the seven days, that soul must be cut off from Israel. My beloved, most people today taken there to eat matzo. At the time of Mas Messiah Yeshua, there is no technology, there is no matzo. Do you always eat in leavened bread for seven days? Do you eat matzo for seven days? That's about business, it's about money. When Messiah Yeshua is talking about unleavened bread, he do not talk about the physical bread. Because Messiah Yeshua said, I am the bread. Whoever eat my flesh or my body, that's the same meaning, the symbolic of the lemons. When Abba Yahweh say, the lamb is Yahshua, the blood is the blood. Yahshua pay for your sin. That's why the bread, the bread is Yahshua. When you're going to receive Yahshua, your body must be sanctified, purified, and abstained from all evil. For the week to come. Seven days. You must without sin. Seven days. You have to have without sex. Seven days. You have to be purified. Seven days. You have to be. Sanctified. If not. You are wasting of your time. I always say. You must observe. This day, Abib the 14, and your generations by an ordinance forever. That means if any one of you will set to the word of Yahweh and do not observe the Passover of Yahweh according to Yahweh appointed time, and set up to follow the new moons when there is no evidence when Yahweh said to Moses this month. Is the first one of the year to you. Nowhere there's any validations about it to follow the new moon or any Jewish calendar or any Gregorian calendars or whatsoever calendars. Lies and deceptions. I always say in the book of Ezra, the story, chapter verse 18, and the first month of Abib on the 14th day of the month. At events, you must eat the Passover, and on the 15 days until the 1 and 21 days, you must eat unleavened bread. Why are Bayahwe give the instruction to the house of Israel? How many of you today who keep the first day of unleavened bread today? The 15 days it is written on the scripture. I don't read it, I don't put it. And the first month of Abib, April the 14th, and the number at even you must eat the Passover. That was yesterday, was the Passover. Yesterday was the 14th day of Abib, and today is the 15th, and on the 15 days. And the 15 days, that means Yahweh don't live no more. So if you celebrate the Passover on the 8th, and you're going to celebrate the 11th on the night, when Yahweh say on the 15th, 
Hello? Are you do what Yahweh told you to do or you do your parts over? Or you do tend to please yourself? Or you follow the blind leaders, the Jewish people, or you want to follow Yahweh? Which way you want to go? The way of destruction or the way of salvation, eternal life? If I barely say in the book of Shemot, 12 chapter verse 18, on the first month of Abib, April, on the 14th day, not on the 8th, not on the 7th, not on the 26th, but on the 14th day of Abib is a pass over to Yahweh. Break blank. I'm challenging any pastors, ministers, elders, rabbis, no matter who you think you are, just prove all things. So validate on the scripture where Yahweh said to follow the new moon in order to observe his Passover. Did I buy away 2500 years ago? Give to his servant, his servant, Moshe, the instructions, the guidance, and all the ways for, the, for Moses to teach the children of Israel. Today, how many of the elders who choose by Yahweh, who call by Yahweh? How many of you? How many of rabbis? Are you called by Yahweh? I don't think a blind can lead you, not the blind, do you? My friends, if anyone do not walk the walk and talk the talk, you might be found your feet inside your mouth soon or later. And verse 19, seven days must there be no living in your house. For whosoever eating that which is leavened, even that soul must be cut off from the congregation of Israel. Do you see black Hebrew Israelites? Do you see the Jewish people? No. The scripture refers to the house of Israel. Yes, seven days of salvation. Yes. So we should be grateful for the mercy because of Yahshua who is the lambs who take away the sin of those who believe in him. Seven days must be no livings in your house, no sin in your house, no matter it's transit, no matter who bonds in the land. Seven days, you must represent your body as a self-sacrifice to Yahweh. If you cannot spend seven days without sex, without sin, and you say you love somebody, when he's asking you, it's not by eating matza. It's not by eating mazo. It's not by eating mazo ball. But it's by living seven days without sin. Seven days to purify, to sanctify yourself. An honor of Yeshua Passover. My friends, I barely say any soul who eats what is unleavened must be cut off from among the congregations of the house of Israel. So that means no matter who you think you are, if you have violated the commandments, the rules, the instructions of Yahweh, Sakabo finito 86 cut off. You might be thinking changing of your name can save you. But my friends, your name change can do anything for you because you rejected salvation. When you reject Yahshua, Yahshua means Yahweh salvation. When you reject the blood of the lambs, Yahshua is the lamb of Yahweh. There is no more sacrifice tale for you to receive any forgiveness. Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel, not the elders of black Hebrew Israelites. Today, we are no need of elders. There is no temple. There is no high priest. There is no need of elders. 
Yahshua said, go everywhere and make disciples to all the people on the earth for me. Not to make followers or to be elders, but to be a disciple. Are you a disciple? Are you a disciple? At the time of Moses, there is a high priest around. There is a priest. There is a temple. There is all be sacrifices. They need the elders to give advice. But today, Yahshua comes as a new covenant. Yahshua is a high priest. Yahshua is a temple. Everything has to do according to Yahshua. Without Yahshua, you are wasting of your time, my friend. Jesus cannot save you. Jesus also don't mean Yahweh's salvation. The name of Yahushua derived from Yah, Yahweh, Shua, salvation. The book of Acts 4, chapter verse 12, state that there is only one name give where above. One name, one name, one, El Had, one name give above, not beneath. Any man can receive salvation. So that means when you say any man can receive salvation, Yahushua means Yahweh salvation. So that means there is no order. Point blank. You can pick and choose, my friends. I'm just here to lead the horses to the world. I'm not here to force the horses to jump the water. Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and say unto them, Draw out and take you a lamp according to your families and kill the Passover. Moses called for all the elders. It's not the elders who call for Moses, but Moses is the one who receives the instructions, the commitment from Yahweh. Now Moses has to command the elders. It's not the elders who command Moses. The elders always take a back seat until Moses called them to do whatever they have to do. But today, the elders, they are the one in control. <laughs> That's very sad. That's very sad. Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and say unto them, not the elders who tell Moses what they have to do. Just like if you are a elders today, you have to take a back seat until the servant of Yahweh told you what you have to do and you can't proceed. Without that, you needed to take a back seat. Stop misled and deceive and lie to people by pretend yourself you know something when you know nothing. The bigger ignorance of humankind is to reject something when they do not know nothing about it. My friends, for Yahweh will pass through this might. The Egyptians, and when Abraham will see the blood, Yeshua blood, upon the lentils of the two disciples, are you have the blood of Yeshua and your lentil door tonight? If tonight is a Passover, Abraham we're going to pass to the land of Egypt to smite the Egyptian. Are you have the blood of the lamb? Are you have Yahshua seal in your hours tonight? Or you have Jesus? Or you have Allah? Or you have Buddha? Or you follow the Jewish fables? The Jewish lies. My beloved, I bear with saying, I will pass over the door and you will not suffer the destroyer to come and enter your house to smite you. In order for Yahweh to pass over your house, he must see the blood at the lintel of your door. That means you are saved by the blood of Yahshua. That was a symbolic code. The lambs represent Yahshua. My friends, today, just that the Jewish people who are rejected Yahshua as a Mashiach, my friends, it might be too late for you. 
salvation only coming once there is no second chance in life that's the reason why messiah so said the good news of the kingdom of yahweh must be preached everywhere on the earth to all the creature to all the questions as a witness then when then when then the end shall come every single person on the face of the earth must know must acknowledge who is yeshua amasiak then the end to come because there's gonna be no skills there's gonna be i do not know no 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 it's better you are ignorant or you are arrogant and you must end up until the end it's not just by changing of your name and get a uniform just like you are in the army thinking you already there no you are not there yet your application don't even in process there is a lot of homeworks to be done a lot of papers has to be filled you don't file them yet you don't sign them and you don't pay for the fee either i don't receive the fee i don't even know you my friends and you must charge when we go to Exodus 13, chapter verse 4. This 14 day of this month of Abib, you come out of Egypt. If anyone of the elders or anyone of you who pretended to be an Israelite do not observe the 14 day of Abib, that means Abaya will never rescue the children of Israel from the land of Egypt on the 14th day of Abib. That means Abaya will never execute judgment on the 14th day of the month of Abib. He never pass over. If you have to pick the new moon, when there is no scripture to back him up, where Yahweh said to Moshe, you have to follow the new moon in order to observe the Passover. Some things is wrong with all of you. This is the 14th day of this month of Abib, you come out of Egypt. If you do not acknowledge the 14th day of Abib, just that some of you do not acknowledge the seven days of Sabbath, it's not surprise to Yahweh. For many are called, but only few are chosen. And verse 8, you must tell and the 14th day of Abib, saying it is done because of that which Yahweh did once we was come out of the land of Egypt. If you cannot tell your children what is the meaning of Abib the 14, that means you are not of the house of Israel. If you have to keep on changing the date when Yahweh has given, a specific date just that the sabbath day six days do your labor the seven days is the day of yahweh your creator just that yahweh see on the 10th this month this month exodus 12 chapter verse 1 yahweh said to moshe yahweh is the calendar yahweh is the new moon because Yahweh is speaking to Moses about the term Moses to follow the new moon. Because if you follow the new moon, you already, first of all, you have a other gods. Second thing, you bow down to what Yahweh has created when he said you must not bow down to anything he created. That's why stupid mankind, all those who follow the Jewish fibles are stupid. In the book of Exodus 13, chapter verse 9, Yahweh passed over must be for a sign. Yahweh passed over must be for a sign. Just like the Sabbath day is for a sign. Just like the Passover must be also for a sign. Who taught upon these and, and for a memorial between you, between your eyes? 
that what Yahweh instructions are commanded may be in your mouth. For with the strong hand, Yahweh will skew you out of Egypt. My friends, if I by Yahweh do not rescue the children of Israel on the 14th day of Abib, not on the 8th day of Abib, not in the 26th day of March, not in the 21st day of March, not on the Good Friday, but on the pass of the blood, the Yeshua blood, rescue the salvation, the rescue of the children of Israel 3,500 years ago, Represent our Yahshua gonna be rescue the children of Israel from the sins, die for the sin to those who believe in Him. Yahweh Passover must be for a sign, just like the Sabbath day. Now see, the fourteen is the fourteen. I don't care which country, what language you are speaking or talking. Are you understand 14 is 14. You know, Valentine's Day always on the February the 14. You keep the 14. So why not obey the commandment of Yahweh? You know, July the 4th, you always celebrate July the 4th without no hesitations. But when it's about Yahweh, there is always be deceptions. No wonder Messiah should say. Let be no one deceive you. Let no one deceive you. Don't let be your mind be troubled. Because many shall call in my name and shall mislead many. This is the time. And you must tell your son in the day of 14 day of Abib, saying, did Yahweh are you on the land of Mizraim at sundown? Yahweh Passover must be for a sign just like the Sabbath day. If this Sabbath day is not a sign for you, the Passover will not going to be a sign for you. Those who belong to Yahweh will always listen, obey, and follow the commandments of Yahweh. The sign of the blood should put up on your hand for a memorial between your eyes. That Yahweh instructions and comments may be in your mouth. For with a strong hand, Yahweh will skew you out of Israel. My friends, are you are of the house of Israel or you are of the house of the Egyptians? You are came from the Jewish, not Israel. When you tell the book of Vahigwa, the book of Leviticus 23, chapter 5, and the 14th day of Abib, and the first month, at sundown is Yahweh Passover. Anybody understand? I don't make it. It is written. As Mr. Shua August quote the scripture to Satan, but how many of you today can quote this scripture? How many of you can quote this scripture where I will say you must follow the new moon? Where in the scripture when Yahweh say you must follow the Jewish calendar? The Jewish calendar gets la de gab, la de lies. According to the Jewish calendar, we are living in 5,700 and some years. Is it lies? We are living in 6,020 years. Because they remove 4,000 years, the Jewish people remove almost 50 years from the calendar also. Everywhere you go is deception. But they say we are living in 2020 when we are in 6,020. They remove the questions. They remove from the Genesis to Malachi. They give you only the Winyo covenant. Yahweh say in the 14th day of Abib, on the first month, at sundown is Yahweh Passover. So anyone who do not follow this instruction, I don't care who you are, you celebrate your Passover, not Yahweh Passover. 
When you take the book of Numbers 9, chapter verse 1, and Yahweh speak to Moses. Yahweh do not speak to the elders. Yahweh speak to his servant. The one he chose, he called to send to rescue his people. Yahweh is not the author of confusions. He cannot choose and pick 100,000 blind people who don't even know nothing about him to send him to rescue his people. Make no sense. Call it by any names. They don't even know Yahweh name. The first thing Moses was asking Yahweh, suppose he went to the land of Mizraim and to rescue your people. If they ask me for your name, what I'm going to tell them? Aya, Yawasha, TMH? No. Yahweh say, I am Yahweh. This is my name. And tell the children of Israel, my name is supposed to be a memorial. Just start the Passover. Just start the Sabbath day. Because Yahweh name stand forever, just like his name stand forever. Le Ram Vayed. It's not the meaning, the sound is the meaning. Numbers 9, chapter verse 1. And Yahweh spoke to into Moshe and the wilderness, on the wilderness at Sinai, in the first month of the second year, after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, let the children of Israel also obey the Passover at Yahweh appointed season. Do, do you say according to Yahweh appointed new moon? Do you see anywhere on the scripture say in the book of Numbers 9 chapter verse 2, yeah, Yahweh say you must follow the Jewish stupid calendar? Where is in the scripture Yahweh say you must observe the Passover whenever, whatever you want in any days? No. Yahweh speak to his servant Moshe according to the book of Numbers 9 chapter verse 1 state that. In the second years when the children of Israel come out from Egypt, on the first month of the second year after the world come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Let the children of Israel also obey the Passover at Yahweh appointed time. And the fourteenth day of this month of Abib, at sundown, you must obey the Passover and Yahweh appointed season. Not Jewish appointed time, not to follow the new moon, but Yahweh appointed time. So now, where is Yahweh? It's TMH. So you can do whatever you please. It is written in the book of Numbers, 9 chapter verse 3. In the fourteenth day of the first month of Abib, at sundown, you must obey the Passover and Yahweh appointed season, according to all the rites of it, and according to all the ceremonies thereof, you must obey the Passover. It is written. So, how many people of you who know how to read? Or because the veil of our bayah we put on your things, you might be taken, you see, but you cannot perceive. You might be you hear, but you cannot understand. That's why Messiah was say, whoever gonna hear is to hear. Let them hear what Yahweh's Spirit has to say to the congregation of the house of Israel. For many are called only if you are chosen. You can every year to listen garbage, trash, lies, and deceptions. But you don't have a year to listen to the word of Yahweh. The word of Yahweh is not for everybody. It's only for one. Everybody wants to go to heaven. But nobody wants to govern according to the law, instructions, commitments, regulations, the rules heaven govern if there is heaven and the book and the book of numbers nice chapter verse 4 
And Moses spoke unto the children of Israel that the most obedient Passover, that the book of Numbers 9, chapter verse 4. And Moses spoke to the children of Israel that the most, it is a must to obey Yahweh Passover. Verse 5 And the children of Israel obeyed the Passover in the 14 days of the first month of Abib at even in the wilderness at Sinai, according to all that Yahweh commanded Moshe to the children of Israel, did. Hello. Hello. Are we there? I want you to read the book of Numbers 9, chapter 5 by yourself. I don't make it. It is written. Why those elders as to follow the Jewish stupid lies? And they call themselves elders. What is the meaning of elders? The elders don't mean you are a high priest. The elders don't mean you are a leaders. The leaders take advice from Moses and execute what they have to execute. But elders, they are not leaders. Elders are to always take a back seat. When we turn the book of Numbers 9, chapter verse 5, and the children of Israel obeyed the Passover on the 14 days of Aviv, the first month, the month of Aviv at even in the wilderness of Sinai, according to all that Yahweh commanded Moshe and the children of Israel did. Not black Hebrew Israelite, not the Jewish. Talk about the children of Israel. Where are the true Israelites? Not the Jewish people. Not the black Hebrew Israelites. We are talking, the scripture referred to the house of Israel, Bene Israel, Bene. Bene Israel, not Bene Yahudim. Not Bene. Black Hebrew Israelites, but Bene Israel, the son of Israel, the house of Israel. Bet Israel, the house of Israel. Bene, the son. But today, there's a different game ball. Everybody talking about Jewish Passover. I don't see nowhere on the scripture refer to Jewish Passover. Why did they say Jewish Passover? It's because the children of Israel are with sex, salvation, and the life, and the wish of the Jewish salvations pick and choose the dead they feel like according to the new moon kabbalah new moon is a sign of astrology the book of numbers 28 chapter verse 16 and the 14th day of the first month of abib is yahweh passover again and again on the 14 days in the book of numbers 28 chapter verse 16 instead that and the fourteenth day of the first month of Abib is Yahweh Passover. My friends, this is the Passover. If anyone need one, is the Passover little booklet. If you want to get all the verses and everything, it's gonna be yours free. You see it? Welcome back, Yahushua. You see the blood. On the lanterns, the sign. It can be yours. Just in an address, it can be yours for you. In order to not deceive by the tradition of the elders anymore. The book of Deuteronomy 16, chapter verse 1. Observe the month of Abib and obey the Passover into Yahweh. For on the month of Abib, Yahweh brought you. The foot out of the Egypt by night. You shall therefore sacrifice the Passover into Yahweh. You must be sacrificed the Passover into Yahweh. So today you are sacrificed the Passover to the Jewish people. Today you sacrifice the Passover according to the new moon. Today you sacrifice the Passover according to the way you feel it just for your own gangs filthy gangs let's read that way if any one of you elders rabbis 
ministers, pastor, whoever you call him yourself. If you not believe on the book of Jeremiah 31, 31, I do not know what to say to you. You are more dumb and stupid. People are never seen in my life. In the book of Prophet Jeremiah 31, 31, stated, the days are coming, declare Yahweh, when I will make a renewed covenant, not a new covenant, a renewed covenant with the people of Israel. You don't see black Hebrew Israelite or the Jewish people. Listen carefully, my friend. Behold, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 31, 31. Behold, the days are coming, declare Yahweh, when I will make a renewed covenant with the house of Israel. The day are coming, said Yahweh. The days are coming, declare Yahweh, when I will make a renewed covenant, not a new, a renewed. Because remember, the Passover was always exist since the beginning of the creations of the earth. The Passover was exist. I bear we use the symbolic, the lamb and the blood, that Yahshua was already there since Adam and Eve was sin as the atonement for those who are sin. That's the reason why I say, Behold, the days are coming, declare Yahweh, when I will make a renewed covenant with the house of Israel. Verse 32, this renewed covenant will not be like the one I made with their ancestors when I took them by the end of Egypt and brought them out of Mizraim do they break in my covenant. Do I have then a husband for them who love his wife? Said Yahweh the Almighty Creator. This is not the same covenant I will make with the house of Israel when I took them by the end to the land of Mizraim because they broken my covenant. To ours, a husband to them, but they deceive me. Verse 33 This is the renewed covenant I will make with the house of Israel. After that, declare Yahweh, I will put my commandments in the mind. And write it on the mind. I will be their creator. And they will be my people. Mm. Listen carefully. I want every single of you pay attention. To the instructions. What this verse mean to you. But this is a renewed covenant. I will make with the house of Israel, not to the Jewish people, not to the Jehovah Witnesses, not to the Muslim, not to the black Hebrew Israelites, but to the house of Israel, B'nai Israel. After these days, said Yahweh, I will put my instructions deep within them. That means you have to have Yahshua's spirit in you. The Hua HaKadosh, Yahshua's spirit, must be in you. Then I will write them on the mind, not as a letter. I will be their creator and they will be my people. My friends, listen carefully. If you will set the renewed covenant, you will set the blood of Yahshua. You deny Yahshua as the only way to Yahweh. You are not under the renewed covenant. You are not of the house of Israel. 
because they covenant our by our way as made 2500 years ago your ancestors as a break can never keep them always rebel against yahweh you must have no other gods but me they build a golden calf they push yahweh to anger you must not bow down to any things i create bring at the earth you bow down to the sun just like you did today you bow down to the moon the bow down to the stars star david you bow down to the moon you bow down to the sun you bow down to the stars you bow down to any animals to the trees to everything are bear with us created so you never keep the commitment of yahweh that's the reason why i buy our felt in order for men to receive any salvation you must have Yeshua in your life. That's why he sent Yeshua as the lamb to be slaughtered for my sin. I don't know about you. And today I can free from bondage, from addictions, and from all the loss of the flesh because of Yeshua blood. No longer will be teach the neighbors or say to one another, Know Yahweh, because they will all know me from the least of them to the greatest, declare Yahweh. For I will forgive their wickedness and will remember the sin no more. Mm. But if I bear say, we no longer will be teach the neighbors. Or say to one another, Know Yahweh, because they will all know me, said Yahweh, from the least of them to the greatest of them, declare Yahweh. For I will forgive, I will forgive their wickedness, and will remember the sin no more. I will forgive the weakness and will remember the sin no more by which way your sin going to be forgiveness by the blood of yeshua by the sacrifice of yeshua and golgotha two thousand years ago my friends my beloved the book of Romans. 11 chapter verse 27 said that and this is my renewal covenant with them when i will take away the sin Romans 11 chapter verse 27 and this is my renewal covenant my renewal covenant with them yeshua is a new sheriff in town Yahshua is the only high place. Everything has to do for Yahshua, through Yahshua, and by Yahshua. Messiah Yahshua said 2,000 years ago, on the front of the Pharisees, the teachers of the laws, the Sadducees, and the scribes, the doctors, the philosophers, I am the way, I am the life, and I am the truth. No man, no man go to my father, but except through me. If anybody has a right sense, he will know. You cannot go nowhere without Yeshua. I am the way. I am the life and I am the truth. No men, no men, no exceptions. John 14, chapter verse 6. No man go to my father but except through me. I am the door to the sheep. Whoever enter to it will find pasture. I am the good shepherd. Nobody can take my life. I lay down my life. I have the power to let it down and I have the power to take it back. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for his sheep. You don't understand. 
There is a lot of ways seem good in the sight of a man. But the end of it is what? Is dead. For the ways of sin is dead. For the gift of Yahweh is eternal life to Yahshua Amashiach. Not to TMH. Not to Buddha. Not to Allah. Not to Jesus or God. Not to Hashem Adonai. Or Yahweh Yahashi. Or Ayah that Ayah. But to Yahshua Amashiach. My friends, the time is now. Don't let it be too late. You never know tomorrow what's going to be happening. Don't waste your time. Start living for something. It's better to die for some things instead of to live for something. It's a time to wake up to know what time it is. If you are drunk because you drink too much wine, stop by drinking wine. Why is not good for you anyway? Because when you drunk, the TV is coming. But not to steal, to kill, and destroy. Remember, the thief is coming not but to steal and to kill and destroy. But me say as well, I say, I'm coming to give you life, not even life, but to have it more abundantly. So if you found yourself, you do not have life, and you don't have it and abundantly, some things is really terrible wrong with you. You must be found out what is wrong with you. My friends, there is so many things going on and all over the earth. To confirm the covenants of Abba Yahweh, the new covenant, you must have Yahshua blood in your life. When you take the book of Isaiah 53, chapter verse 1, Isaiah, Yeshua, 53, chapter verse 1, who has believed our message, and to whom, as amongst you, Yahweh, been revealed. Remember, Abel, we do not reveal himself to everyone. Abel will reveal himself to those who love him and obey his commandment. Yahshua said, I will reveal myself to them. No man ever see the Father. No man ever see the Son, only the Father. And the Son reveal himself to whom? He please. So there's a lot of people say, I know Jesus. Yes, you know Satan, but you cannot know Yahshua because live, you live in insane and filthiness. You cannot know about Yahshua. A servant go up in Yahshua presence like a tender girl, shout like a root in the day ground. There was nothing beautiful in Yahshua, nothing beautiful in him, or majesty about his appearance, nothing to attract his, his appearance. He saw up before the lag a tender. Shout a lag a root out of the dead world. Yahshua has no beauty or majesty, desire into him and its appearance that we should be desire of him. Verse 3. Yahshua was despised and rejected by mankind, by his own people. The book of Isaiah 53, chapter verse 3. Yahshua was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering, infirmity, with pain, like one from the people. Hide the face, he was despised and he held him and lost him. He was despised and rejected. A man of sorrow requested 
with deeper grief. We turn our back on him and look the other way. He was despised and we did not care about him until today. We was despised Yeshua. Just that we despise him today. We was rejected Yeshua. Just that today you are rejected the salvation. A man of soul requested with deeper grief. We turn our back on Yeshua and look the other way. Yeshua was despised and we did not care for him. Just like today. How many of you who reject the salvation? How many of you who reject Yahweh in your life and you is still taken? You are of the house of Israel. You are of the black Hebrew Israelites. Or you are one of the deceivers. But you are not of the house of Israel because you are not under the new covenant. You was not under the new covenant and you are not under the new covenant either. Your name is not written on the book of life. And it was not going to be winners because those Yahweh chose is already chosen. But make sure Abba Yahweh don't erase your name because he can erase it. The Christian people say, when you save, you save. That's not true. If you make any mistake, you mess around with Yahweh, you are a dead meat. And I always say to Adam, you may eat everything freely on the garden, every tree on the garden. But on the day you eat from the tree of knowledge, the good and evil, you will certainly die, point blank. So don't listen to your pastor, so when you save, you save. That's not true. Yahweh can blot out your name from the book of life. Do not rejoice because Satan is obeyed to you. But rejoice because your name is found written in the book of life of the Lamb, which is Yahshua Hamashiach. Because Satan can obey to Satan. That doesn't mean you are saved. Your name must be written on the book of life. And if you do anything stupid, Abayah can blot out your name from the book of life. Look what Yahweh did over 3,500 years ago. What he did? He take his time. He sent his servant Moshe to restore the children of Israel. The trip supposed to be only three days trips. End up over 40 years. Moses begged the children of Israel to listen, but they are refused till today to listen to the word of Yahweh. At the end, what happened? Yahweh said, Not one of you will enter into the promised land except Joshua and Caleb. I want all of you to thank him when over five million men. Not including infants, children, and women. Only two. Only two originated from Egypt. And make it. So think about it. Over five millions. Not five hundred. Not five thousand. Five millions. Not including infants. Children and women. No one make it. Even Moshe see the land as a distance, but do not enter into the promised land. Just think about that. Those who thank Yahweh for weakness, don't take Yahweh kindness for weakness. Yahweh just patient. But Yahweh has a Satan inside of him. Don't wake up that Satan. That's why Yahweh say, I am he. Beside me there is no God. 
I'm the one who kill. I'm the one who make a life. I'm the one who wounded, and I'm the one who heal. No one can rescue you out of my hand. I am the one, not Satan, not Edomite, not white man. I am the one. Beside me, there is no God. God doesn't exist. Satan doesn't exist without Yahweh giving permissions. Start by blaming Satan. If there is Satan, you are your own Satan. You are your own devil. It's not Satan who make you do it. You're doing it. Take your responsibility. Acknowledge your wrongdoing. Perhaps I bear away every mercy upon you. That's why Yahshua is all about. If you're afraid to, to fall down, you are not going to be able to walk. You get to understand that and above for you to walk, you get to fail. But remember, Yahshua is there to wake you up, to, to pick you up. Because anybody can fall down is an accident. But the choice is to stay down. Do not be afraid to walk. Because you must fall down. If you are afraid to fall down, you are not going to be able to walk. I'm not able. I'm not afraid to fall down. I know Yahshua is there to pick me up. But I have a choice. To fall down is an accident. But to stay down on the ground is a choice. You will fall down, yes. There's going to be wave. Mr. Ashwa said, do not take in a servant is greater than his master. If they persecute me, they will also persecute you. You don't say everything is going to be easy for you. If they put me in jail, they will put you in jail too. He has appeared before San Adrian on the courthouse. You will be appear on the courthouse too. I went before Pilate two times. I went before Herod. I went to courthouse. I know about courthouse. I know about suffering. They slapped me. They beat me up. If they do that to me, they will do that to you too. I am your master. Do you see what they treat me? You are my servant. Do you think they're going to treat you better than that? My friends, Surely, he took up upon our pains and bore our suffering. Yet we consider him punished by Yahweh, struck in by him, and afflicted because of our sins. Yet, he was, Yahshua was our weakness. He came he was our tons that weight of sin down. And we thought his trouble were a punishment from Yahweh, a punishment for his own sin when he never sinned. That was for our sin. Surely, 2,000 years ago, Yahshua took our infirmities and carried out sorrows, yet consider Yahshua struck in by Yahweh struck down and afflicted because of our sins. Verse 5. Yahshua was peace for our transgressions. Yahshua was cross for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us shalom was upon Yahshua Amasiak. And by his word, we all heal. By his track, we all heal. But Yahshua was the basis for our transgressions. Yahshua was crossed for our iniquities. Upon Yahshua with the satisfactions that brought us shalom. Without Yahshua, that's why Yahshua said, the peace I give to you is not as the world is given. Because the peace, the transgressions, it was crushed for our iniquities. Upon Yahshua, 
with the chastisements that brought us peace. And with his wounded, we all heal. If Yahshua do not wound it, you do not heal. Verse 6, we all like a sheep have gone astray, and each of us has turned to our own ways. And Yahweh has laid on Yahshua the iniquity of us all. All of us, like sheep, and sheep among we have life. Yahshua part to follow our own. Yet, Yahweh laid on Yahshua the sin of those who believe in Yahshua Amashiach. Verse 7, Yahshua was oppressed and trusted treated harshly, yet he never said a word. Yahshua was led like a lamb to be slaughtered, and as a sheep is silent before the shearers, it did not open its mouth. Verse 8, by oppressions and judgments, Yahshua will take away yet who of his generations protested for Yahshua was cut off from the land of living for the transgression of my people Yahshua was punished and justly Yahshua was condemned Yahshua was led away no one care until today that it did not without dissonant. That his life was cut off very short in the land of living. But he was struck down for the rebellions of my people Israel until today. Verse 9. Yahshua has done no wrong. We do. Yahshua never sin. We do. Yahshua never commit any iniquity against Yahweh. We do. It has never deceived anyone. We deceive people for the sake of money. But Yahshua was buried like a criminal. Yahshua was put and the wish men turn because of our iniquities, because of our transgressions, because of our sin. But it was Yahweh, God plant to cause Yahshua and calm and grief. Yet, when his life is made an orphan of sin, Yahshua will live a mercy descent. He will enjoy a long life. And Yahweh good plan will prosper in Yahshua hand. Remember, Yahshua has done no wrong. Yahshua has never deceived anyone. But he was buried like a criminal. You was put in the wish man grave because of your sins, because of your transgressions. But we will check him because of our stupidity. The book of Deuteronomy 29, chapter verse 12, said that you are extending here in order to enter into a covenant with Yahweh your creator a covenant yahweh making with you this day and seeking with an oath we are extending today we must listen carefully there is a time and season for everything 
Remember, there is no second chance in life. The scripture never say where Adam receive a second chance, and Adam will not gonna receive a second chance. Abaya will never forgive Adam and Eve and King Saul. So in the time of ignorance, Abaya will overlook at it. Now command it every man to repent from their wicked ways. You are standing here in order to enter into a covenant with Yahweh. Your creator, a covenant Yahweh as making with you this day and sealing with an oath, he swear to his own. You are standing here today to enter into the covenant of Yahweh, your creator, which Yahweh, your creator, is making with you today. Verse 13 to confirm you this day. As is people, if you are not confirmed with this government, you are not Yahweh people. That Yahweh may be your creator or your father, and Yahweh promise you, and as is swear to your fathers, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov later will become Israel. By entering into the covenant today, Yahweh wills establish you as his people. If you are not under the old covenant and you are not under the renewed covenant, you cannot be Yahweh people. I'm sorry, my friend. And Yahweh will confirm that he is your father. Just as Yahweh promised you, and Yahweh saw to your forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov. But you are not the only one who is making these commitments with his curses. Yahweh said, you are not the only one to whom I am making this covenant I am making this covenant both with you into here today in the presence of Yahweh our creator and also with the future generations who are not standing here today hello that means the covenant Abel will give to the children of Israel must be forever listen but I also would make the covenant with those who are standing here today. And the praises of Yahweh, our Creator, as well as with those who are not here today. Those who are going to burn, but they don't burn yet, to generations and generations. My beloved, I bear away saying in the book of Isaiah, listen, O Israel. Why I bear away say in the book of Yeshiyahu, the book of Isaiah, first chapter, verse 2. Hear me, you of paradise, listen, O earth, for Yahweh has spoken. I raised the children of Israel, I brought them, but they have rebelled against me. Mm, that's very sad. Listen, O paradise. Pay attention, O earth. This is what Yahweh said. The children of Israel I raised and care for have rebelled against me. That's sad situations. Verse 3. I bear it see an ox know his honor. But the ox knows his master. The donkey knows his honor's manger. But Israel does not know. My people do not understand. 
Even an ox knows his honor. An ox knows who feed him. And a donkey recognizes his master's care. A donkey recognizes those who feed him, those who care for him. But Yahweh said, but Israel doesn't know his master. My people Israel don't recognize my care for them. This is sad. Very, very sad. Woe to the sinful nations, a people whose guilt is great. A board of evildoers, children given to corruptions. They have forsaken Yahweh. They have spawned the center part one of Israel and turned the back on Yahweh. That's very sad. The book of Isaiah, first, first chapter, verse 4. Oh, what a sinful nation. They are loaded down with the burden of guilt. They are evil people, corrupted children, who have rejected Yahweh. They have despised the set apart one, Yahshua, the king and Melech of Israel, and turned their back on Yahshua Amashiach and rejected him. Verse 5. Why should you be in anymore? Why do you persist in rebellions? Your whole head is injury. Your whole mind affected. Now we say, why do you continue to invite punishments? Must you rebel forever? Your head is injury and your mind is sick. Tonight, you must listen. Verse 6, from the sole of your foot to the top of your head, there is the soundness, only wounded and wet and open soles, not cleans or bandages or sorted with olive oil. You are battled from head to toes, covered with bruised, wet and infected wounded without any certain ointments or bandage to take care of you. Your country is desolate. Your cities burn with fire. Your field I been stripped by foreigners. Why be for you? Lead ways and when you overthrow by stones. Does Zion is left like a soldiers in the vineyard? Like a hood and the cucumbers feel like a city under the seas. Verse 9. Unless Yahweh Almighty and left us some survivors, we will have become like Saddam's, we will have been like, like Gomorrah. That's why many are called, but only few are chosen. If Yahweh of the paradise, has not spared a few of us. Many are called, but a few are chosen. That's why we're going to make a remnant. We will have been whipped out like Sodom, destroyed like Gomorrah, because of our disobedience continually. Hear the word of Yahweh, you rulers of Sodom. Listen to the instructions of our Creator, your people of Gomorrah, those pastors those ministers, those elders, the multitude of your sacrifice, what are they are to me, said Yahweh, the Almighty Creator. I have more than enough of burnt offerings, of worms, and the fat of fattened of animals. I have no pleasure in the blood of the bulls and lambs and goats. What make you take out all your sacrifices? Yahweh speaking to you tonight. What make you realize? What make you take and Yahweh say, I want all your sacrifice, said Yahweh. I am sick of your burnt offerings, of worms, and the fat of the fattening of animals. I get no pleasure from the blood of your bulls and lamb and goat. I have no pleasure at all. When you come to appear before me, you ask, ask is, is to you this trophy of my coat. 
When you come to worship me, who asks you to pay it through my coach with all your ceremony? Yahweh say, I don't need your ceremonies. You are stupid and dumb. Stop bringing meaningless offerings. Your nonsense, your incense is detestable to me. No moons, Sabbath, and your convocation, I cannot bear your worthless assemblies. Hello. I bet I will say to you tonight, stop bringing me your meaningless gift. The incense of your offerings disgusts me. As for your celebrations of the new moon and the Sabbath and your special day for fasting, they are all sinful and false. I want no more of your pious meetings. Your new moon feasts, your appointed festival as Passover, unleavened bread, man-made tradition I hate with all my beings. They have become a burden to me. I worry of bearing things. I hate your new moon, your celebrations, your annual festival as we pass over. They are a burden to me. I cannot stand them. Mm, really. When you spread out your hand and prayer, I hide my eyes from you. Even when you offer many prayers, I am not going to listen. Your hands are full of blood. Mm. When you lay off your hands and prayer, I will not look. To you offer many prayers, I will not listen for your end of coverage with the blood of innocent victims. Really? Wash and make yourself clean. Listen what the instructions about it is given to you tonight. The book of Isaiah, first chapter verse 16, said that. Wash and make yourself clean. Take your evil deed out of my sight. Stop doing wrong. Are you listening what Yahweh instruction to you tonight? Wash yourself and be clean. Get your sin out of my sight. Give up your evil ways. Wash and make yourself clean. That's two. Take your evil deed out of my sight. That's three. Stop doing wrong. That's four. The fifth one, verse 17. Learn to do right. Seek justice. Defend the oppressed. Take up the cause of the fatherless. Pray the cause of the widow. Do you see the instruction I will give it to you? You must learn to do good. You must seek justice. Help the oppressed assaulters to steal from them. Defend the cause of the orphans. Fight for the rights of the widows instead of to steal from them. Verse 18. Come now and rush as settle the matter, said Yahweh. To your sins I like scarlet. They shall be as white as snow. Today I read as strength, they shall be like wolves. My friends, I buy away as the only one who can take your sin away by the blood of Yeshua. My beloved, Paul said these occasions is a time to put all the evil deed aside. It's a time for us to honor the Passover and the unleavened bread without sin, without malice. The Passover now is a time for the unleavened bread. Seven days without eating anything with yeast, I mean anything who ever sin. 
you must abstain from all the evil ways for this week for all women in the seven days of unleavened boys passover is not a just a major holidays passover is not a jewish festival passover is yahweh face to commemorate the dead he was passed over to restore his people israel when they was in the land of egypt it's a date to remember when abba was open up the red sea for the children of israel to work for freedom just that messiah Shua was work and God got her with the stake. He will take all the beating. His blood was all over because of my sin. Instead of for me to go to Golgotha, instead of for me to be the sacrifice because of my sin, of my iniquity, Yahshua take my place. He don't pay the price with gold and silver but he paid the price with his precious blood let's celebrate the passover and unleavened bread without malice without faking let's be real for once let's be honest and let's be obedient once for all for our Creator. When somebody loves you, there's only one thing you have to do back is to love that person back. Mr. Aswasi, if you love me, obey my commandments. And my love will remain in you just like i obey my father's commandments and his love remain on me the passover is not a joke the passover is not a celebration of the jewish people the passover is not a festival for the black Hebrew israelites the passover is a sign of yahshua will be slaughtered as a sacrifice for my sin and for your sins to most people perhaps thinking it just passed over but they do not know the meanings the essence the symbolic of the passover when i see the blood and the letter of balls i will pass over So it is a time, 6,000 years, humanity has been turned the back to Abba Yahweh. If Yahshua coming tonight, just like the children of Israel with the land of Egypt, do we going to fall on the blood of the lambs and the doorposts of your house tonight? Or he wouldn't destroy you just like he destroyed the firstborn and the God of the Egyptians. Do you gonna be saved? You're gonna receive salvation? No, because the blood of Yahshua is not in your doppels. Abba Yahweh is not the author of confusions, but author of peace, shalom, and all the congregation of the children of Israel. We say as say, he did not come to call the righteous, but he come to call the sinners for repentance. I was an ignorant, just like you was an ignorant. I was in the darkness, just like you was in the darkness, until Abba Yahweh called me out of the darkness, show me is my very light to be a witness. for him not to have a followers for myself 
a will leaders has no need of followers a will leaders always quit more leaders Mr. Ashwa said, go everywhere, make a disciple to all the nation. Be a witness for me. I am not a witness for myself, but I am a living witness for Yahshua Amashiach. The book of John, first chapter 29. John said, the next day, he see Yahshua coming. He said, this is the lamb of Yahweh who take the sin of his people the book of matthew first chapter verse 21 is stated behold the virgin will give a birth to a son and you should name him yahushua he shall save his people from their sins almost two thousand years ago the people said to peter what can we do in order to receive salvation? Peter said, brothers and sisters, men and women, repent every one of you from your sin. Repent every one of you from their sins. And be baptized in the name of Yahshua Amashiach for the forgiveness of your sins. For it is a promise, not even for you, but for your children's children, children. Be baptized. Repent from all your sin. For you shall receive a salvation. You shall receive forgiveness of your sin. Only by repent. Only by follow the blood, the lamb of Yahshua. Yahushua, the lamb of Yahweh, will take the sin of many. 2,000 years ago, when Messiah Yahshua said, he take the bread, he said to his disciple, this is my body, take it and eat it. This is the renewal covenant I make for many, not for all the world, for many. Just like Messiah, so I take the wine as a symbolic of his blood. He bless it. He said, take it and drink it. This is the renewed covenant I share for many of you, not for the world, not for everyone. This is my blood. The renewed covenant I make with you for many. Take it and drink it. And do it in remembrance of me. Passover, the 14th day of Abib, the day Messiah was slaughtered for my sin, for your sin, must be respected and come to life. I love you. May Abba Yahweh be with you. Love must be with sincerity, without no hypocrisy. Love must be without boundary. Love covered up everything. Love one another as I love you. May Abba Yahweh peace. May Abba Yahweh mercy. May Abba Yahweh love and compassion. May the blood of Yahshua Amashiach is on your doorpost tonight. If you don't have Yahshua in your life, if the blood of Yahshua is not in your lentil of your doorpost, you will be destroyed. Just that Abba Yahweh was Ezekiel's judgment over 3,500 years ago. Because the sign was when I see the blood, represent the blood of Yahshua, I will pass over. And you are not going to suffer the destroyer. I will execute judgment that night into the Egyptians and all the gods of Egypt. 
Abba Yahweh, thank you for the privilege. Thank you for all those who are thirsty, who are starving for your words. Abba Yahweh, thank you for those you are choosing. No matter the circumstance, they're always there to listen to your words. As Peter say, when you say, Peter, why you don't go, why you stay? Peter said, but there is no way yet I can receive the truth. You are the only way. You are the truth. Everybody has their lies, deceiving others, and therefore their filthy things. Abba Yahweh, you make a promise. The day will come when you reveal your people the truth. When you teach them your ways, when you're going to send your messenger according to your will, according to your mind, according to your desire, you will send unto fishermen, watchmen to bring them back to you because you are not a man. You make a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. You will bring a remnant. As the scripture says, if there was not of the covenant, we would be just like Sodom in the land of Gomorrah. But because Yahweh is not a man, he cannot change. That's the reason why the children of Israel are not already consumed. Abba Yahweh bless those who bless you. Honor those who honor you. As you say, you love those and you bless those until thousand generations to those who love you and obey your commandments. But you say, whoever say they know him, but yet yeah, do not obey his commandment. This person is a liar. The truth is not in them. Prove all those pastors, those elders, those rabbis, whatever they call themselves, they are a bunch of liars. Because Satan is a liar. When Satan speaking, he's speaking his own native language, lies. He's the father of lies. You carry all those pastors, those Catholic, those Roman Empire, and those elders, those black Hebrew Israelites, and all the religious leaders, they carry the desire of their father, Satan. Now is to say, Adios to Satan at Talavistas to the tradition of men and embrace the doctrine and the teaching of Yahweh word himself. Abba Yahweh to all those who provide to support your ministries, to all those Abba Yahweh who work hard to make your ministry where he is today. For 18 years Abba Yahweh, I'm asking you to open up all the windows and the paradise tonight. I'm asking you to open up all the doors and the paradise tonight. To shower those who support those Abba Yahweh you on church with your ministry, with your blessing. Shower them. Every corner, every way. Be a blessing for them when they go out, when they come in, when they sleep, when they lay down, when they walk by the way, when they eat, when they sit down. Provide for them. Abba Yahweh, you are Yahweh Yisti. You are Yahweh Rafa. You are Yahweh Sikno. You are Yahweh Yisti. I know you can provide for your people, Abba Yahweh, those who are in need. I know you are a healer. Those who are in need of healing, Abba Yahweh, heal them. Those who have any problems in the family, Abba Yahweh, intervene and make shalom. Because by your blood, 2,000 years ago, you say a treaty of shalom with your people for those who love you. For you say to those who love you, to those who accept you, to those who believe in your name, only to those you give the power and authority to become a children of Yahweh. Only to those 
who believe you die for them at Golgotha. Only to those who believe in your name, Yahushua, Yahweh's salvation. The name one day, every knee sober, every tongue shall confess that Yahshua is Yahweh, the glory of Yahweh. Me Abba Yahweh, peace be unto all of you. May Abba Yahweh bless you and keep you. May Abba Yahweh keep his face shy upon you, be gracious to you. May Abba Yahweh left his continent upon you, give you shalom. Beshem Yahshua Amashiach. Sir Shalom. Beshem Yahshua Amashiach. Sir Shalom. Beshem Yahshua Amashiach. Sir Shalom. In the name of the precious blood of Yahshua Amashiach. Prince of Peace. In the name of the precious blood of Yahshua, Yahweh, Passover Lamb. Prince of Peace. And the name of the Lamb of Yahweh, Yahushua Amashiach, who take away the sin to those who believe in him and command them to spend the seven days on leavens bread without sin and commemorations of the sacrifices he make for you to touch the music. May our be Yahweh peace. Been to all of you. I see you Friday. If it is by the will of Yahweh. May me say Yahshua. With the blood of Yahshua. With the weak new covenant of Yahshua. May his blood be upon you tonight. In the name of Yahshua Hamasiah. I am messenger Daniel until next time. Shalom Alehem. Peace be to you. I pray on living bread to you, my brothers and sisters. May Abba Yahweh Shalom be upon you. La light of and Savoir Tov. May Abba Yahweh Shalom be with all of you. This city I'm going to pass. Anybody want a copy from it? They can receive a copy. Just send your address. And the book of the Passover. Anybody who want a copy from the Passover. Thanks to know exactly the date and everything about Passover. Just send your address. It's free without charge. May Abba Yahweh be with all of you. Let's close this service now with a good music. Let's Abba Yahweh. Please, let me see. That's his free charge, it's your gift. Just send an address. Now is the time. Now is the time. No other time. To know Yahshua Amasia. Not Jesus. Now is the time to call upon the Holy One. Now is the time for every song to praise Yahshua. Yahshua. Now is the time for every song to praise Yahshua. Now is the time for every song to praise Yahshua. Now is the time for every song to praise Yahshua. Now is the time to restore Israel in Yahshua. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now, now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time for Israel knowing Yahshua is the only way. Now is the time for Israel's salvation in Mashiach. Yahushua, Yahweh's salvation. Baruch Rabba, Bishem Yahweh. Now is the time for Israel, Yahshua. Is Yahweh now is it time? 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 Now is it time to proclaim Yahshua is Yahweh. Yahshua is the only way for salvation. 
That means it can be yours, free at charge. Just give a address and you will receive it. This is a we give to you to know Yahshua Amasia is the only way. This music, you cannot find them in any stores. They are just for Yahweh Yahshua Ministries. They can be yours free at charge. A gift to you. Yes. Yahshua Amasia, Yahweh Salvation. Yahshua is Yahweh, the Creator. Without Yahshua, nothing will not be created. Yahshua created everything. Now is the time. Celebrate tonight the first day of eleven boys. There's gonna be second day. The sixth cents may our be away be with all of you. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Are you are of the house of Israel? This is the real beauty of Yahweh Yahushua ministry. Oh yes, come on. Get off. Aha, yes. Aha. This is the real deal. Come on, are you all the children of Israel? Come on. Yahweh is a provider. He will always be provided. He's a healer. Yahweh is a place of peace. Yahweh, come on. You are the children of Israel. Are you all the children of Israel or you are the children of Jewish people? Yes, come on. Not black Hebrew Israelites. We Bene Israel, the children of Israel. Oh yes. Not the children of Jewish. No nation. No nation. Yahshua, Yahweh, salvation. Oh yes. Hallelujah. You are the children of Israel, you are the oh, you are the children of the Jewish people. Which thing are you expecting? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Come on, tell them, explain to them, say to them. Uh -huh. The only day. Uh huh. Bene Israel. Thank you, Abba Yahweh. Whatever way you are tonight, if you are the children of Israel, it is a time to rejoice in Abba Yahweh. The second day of Monday we went and comments thanks Abba Yahweh for the first day. Oh yes, thank you, Abba Yahweh. Woo! Thank you, Abba Yahweh. Let the Hua Akodes fill with those Abba Yahweh who touch, touch those Abba Yahweh who want to know you. Touch those with your spirit, Yahshua. Blood tonight. Chase the ways of the people. Yahweh, Hallelujah. In the sky for seasons. In the sky for seasons. 
for a season not to follow. He said, if an authentic can be passed over, we are. We are not Jewish or black Hebrew Israelites. We are Israel. We are on the four corners of the earth. Love that neighbor as that same. Love as no boundary. Love as no color. Be with you. 